Hello and welcome to another one of Enial Shades Blender tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do water simulation in Blender 2.56. This is the latest 32-bit Windows build from graphicall.org. Um, so if you want to follow along with this exact version, go ahead and get that one. So, let's get started. Um, this default cube, if you haven't changed any of the settings, will be needed. And if you haven't, you need a cube or something else to serve as the domain for the water. The domain is essentially the area in which the water is going to be simulated. So, this is a nice little area. Just press Z to go into wireframe mode so we can actually see what's going on inside, because only within these bounds will there actually be any water simulation. So, let's add some water to simulate. Um, press Shift A to add, and then add a UV sphere. Now, this practically fills up our entire domain. So press S near the origin, scale it down so it's a nice little drop of water and then just move it up towards the top of the domain like right about there so it has a little bit of space um, and then we get started with the actual um, setting to water this is a pretty simple operation um, if you haven't changed any of the default windows go over to the button window here this top menu press the middle mouse button on it or your um, middle mouse simulation button and scroll it over a little bit till you can see this little physics button, the bouncing ball. Um, click it, and have your UV sphere selected. Go down to fluid, press add, um, change the type to fluid. So this is going to tell the domain when I add it that this is some fluid inside of the domain. So to set the domain, it's almost the same process. Keep the physics tab selected, select your cube, um, add fluid, set the type to domain. And now you're going to see this really weird blob up there. Um, that's essentially it turning the ICO or UV sphere into the water that it's going to simulate. Keep all the de settings default for uh, now. I'm going to describe to you what they do though. So this setting, the resolution setting, um, sets the resolution of the water, like how many vertices there are. Um, this is the final, like what it actually bakes to, and this is how much it displays it at. Um, I, I'd usually keep uh, the render to the render display to final, because that'll give you the highest quality render, and the viewport display, keep it to preview, because that keeps your uh, viewport nice and fast. This time setting um, is how many seconds this simulation takes place on. So this is a total of four seconds in the real world over 250 frames. So if I were to change this to 2,500 frames, the water would seem really, really slow because it was rendered in 4 seconds in 2,500 frames at 30 frames per second, so the water would seem slow. Even at 250 frames and in 4 seconds, it seems a little slow. So I usually turn this up to 8 before I make my uh, render. Um, and then, next step, to have the domain selected, and just click the Bake button right here, Bake Fluid Simulation. Click it. Uh, it's going to freeze for a second and then start baking. And you can see the progress up here at the top bar. It says fluid simulation and this little progress bar under it. Uh, it takes a really, really long time. Uh, very system dependent kind of thing. I have a six core processor, so this actually goes a lot faster than most of yours will. But even so, it's going to take quite a while. Um, so I'm just going to stop the recording and come back when it's done and show you how to make your blob look like water. Alright, so um, the bake finish, and in the build I have, um, the progress bar is a little weird, and the fluid simulation doesn't quite work right, but this should still serve the purpose properly. So, this is what my results look like. Water splashes and flies up and around the cube somehow, it's kind of a weird glitch, and then just kind of sits there for a while blurbing around. Um, that's generally what the water animations will look like. Um, and if we just go to like a nice frame where it's hitting the ground or something, that one's going up the wall. What the heck is up with that anyway? That looks so weird. I think I'm gonna have to render that. Let's see, press F12 to render. Yeah, it's flying up the wall. Ah, that's strange. Alright, so, you know, there's my uh, water simulation. Here's how to get it to look like water. Alright.
right, so have your domain selected. Press tab to go into edit mode and scroll until you find shading in the um, mesh tools menu and turn it to smooth and then exit edit mode. Now when you render it, it looks a lot smoother and there's like less blocks on it. Alright, the next step is everybody knows water is transparent and right now it is obviously not transparent. So, let's fix that. If you've watched my materials tutorial, you can skip this and start rendering your own water. Because essentially I go over this exact information in my materials tutorial. <laughs> so, select your uh, water blob and go to the material button. Click it. And now that you've clicked it, you have your... you have... you... Ugh you have the material that's on the water selected. Go down to transparency, check it, turn it to ray trace, so you can turn up like the angle of refraction so it refracts light inside of it. Change the alpha to like 0 0.1 and the friends up to 0 0.5 or 2 maybe. Yeah, 2 out of work. Um, this is just essentially how clear or how easy to see through the um, material is this is the alpha or like how transparent it is the lower it is the more transparent um, and the index of refraction is how much light will bend going through it so now if we were to render this you can see this kind of transparent if we were to add a mesh like below it and where's my camera out ah, there yeah that ought to work you can see the mesh through the uh, thing, but you also notice that the mesh has like it, the light doesn't it doesn't accept alpha uh, shadows, like so the shadows are perfectly dark that hit the um, plane, but you can still see through. To fix that, if you wish to, just have your plane selected, go into its materials, add a new material. Um, oh, where is it under? Uh, go to shadow and click receive transparent. Check that. So now when you render it, there will only be a light shadow where the uh, water is. And then a hard shadow from where that is, because that's fully, um, like, not transparent. <laughs> Alright. So, um, then the only other thing to do is to change the color to more blue. Sorry, I'm colorblind. If I didn't, if I just selected something completely not blue, um, not my fault. Um, so there's that. And it'll kind of have a blue tint to it now. And that's how you simulate water in Blender 2.5. Thank you for watching.